Hello and welcome to Copperhead Road Homestead. I got something very exciting today that I want to share with you. Please stay tuned. I made a friend with uh, Micah McGee. His, his channel is uh, McGee Homestead Adventures. Really great guy. He's got a really great channel. He's got a lot of things that uh, uh, we're doing similar, but some things differently. I don't do a whole lot of hunting or fishing, uh, at least not yet. And he does. If you like those kind of things, I think you'll really like his channel. Uh, those of you who are subscribed to my channel, go and check his out. I will put a, a link down in the comment below. But he also has Mangalitsa pigs. The Mangalitsas are the Kobe beef of pork. Uh, have really great marbling in there. They're really wonderful. They're really excellent. Uh, and there's a bit of a demand for those. If you want to sell those, if you want to get into those, then I'm going to be selling some and eventually as well. We've got Henry and Petunia together, uh, and uh, they, uh, she should uh, probably farrow in the next two or three months, I imagine. Uh, but uh, I'm going to get me another Mangalitsa pig. In order to prepare for that, I'm going to go ahead and get the area ready. I don't think Micah's uh, pigs are trained to electric. So I'm going to set up some cattle panels and I'm going to put some electric on the inside. And when you get pigs, if you want them to be trained to electric, and I like mine behind electric, it's so much easier than the cattle panels. Uh, when you get a new pig, then you need to train it to electric. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. All I'm going to do is set up a few cattle panels and I'm going to tie it with this... Uh, 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 baling twine. Uh, it uh, comes in the hay that we get for the cattle uh, and for the goats and uh, it's all over the place over here so it works just fine. Uh, before that I used the wire, just some uh, bare, I, I don't know, 12, 14 gauge wire, 16. Uh, you get it on a big spool. It's what we used to use or what uh, we use for most of our electric fence. I use for my electric fence now this, uh, uh, this poly wire because it bends a whole lot better and it's a whole lot easier for me uh, for portable fencing that you take up and down and up and down and up and down versus this other uh, that doesn't really uh, uh, do quite as well. This has very small filaments in it. But in order to prepare for that, uh, you need to train them to the electric. And uh, they'll test the electric and sometimes they'll just go right through it afterward, especially if they're scared. Uh, and I have dogs and I have children that will run after them possibly. If there is the cattle panels there uh, and then on the inside of that, then they'll uh, learn what the electric means. So. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. Just gonna set these cattle panels up and then show you on the inside what I'm gonna do with the wire. Okay, so I got these two together, and since these two are together, it's gonna stand up now. It'll be a whole lot easier. Uh, I've got two more that I'm gonna put on here so they'll have a nice big space. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna move them, make sure they're over here underneath this shaded area. It stays shaded all day long. So they'll have a sunny area, they'll have a shaded area, they'll have some green stuff to eat. I'll supplement their feed for a little while, and then I'm gonna move them and start rotating them with some of these other pigs, or I'm gonna put them in here with the Mangalitsas one. Hear that wind? Anyway, I'm gonna keep working on this. All right, so I'm done with that part. I've got all four sections together. And you don't have to make this super secure uh, because that's not what's keeping them in. Uh, the, uh, what's keeping them in is the electric. So uh, ordinarily, from what I understand, uh, pigs are, um, of course, uh, I've not kept pigs this way. Uh, pigs are very crafty at getting in and out. Uh, they're escape artists, but uh, my pigs stay in the electric because they know it's unpleasant. They just stay away from it. And so, uh, these pigs, if I had them just in this, uh, they would test uh, this and they would probably uh, dig and wriggle and lift it up. I've seen Henry doing that when we first got him before we put the, uh, uh, the electric on there. Uh, they try to lift it up with their snouts. And these are big pigs, they can do that. These little piglets might not be able to just yet, but they will, they will eventually. 
uh, but they stay away from the electric. They get a little unpleasant shock and they just stay away from it and they learn pretty quick. So all I have to do is keep them in this for a few days. Next step, I'm gonna take these things and I'm just gonna stick them all in four corners and I'm gonna spread some uh, electric wire uh, from all four. Uh, so uh, probably just here down kind of low uh, so they can, uh, uh, they can learn. Because what pigs do is uh, they stick their snout under and then uh, they, uh, uh, they'll they hit it right with the top of their snout. So all I have to do is keep a wire here at this lowest level. Uh, I've got two over here because I had Henry in there before and he might have been able to jump out, uh, but um, now I could probably just put one, uh, especially since they're trained to it. Uh, but for this, I'm just gonna put the ones so they'll learn uh, that this one is, uh, you know, stay away from it. And then they'll be over here close to these other mangalitas, so they'll get used to them. Pigs are very social creatures. All right, I'm gonna stick these in there and then spread some of this around. And then I'm gonna connect it to this fence. So all we gotta do tomorrow when Micah comes is just put the pig in, I'll put a waterer in there and I'll just feed them right on the ground. Okay, so it's all set up and from start to finish, this took me about 25 minutes and that's with me not having everything gathered up together. I had to send one of the kids to get me one, another one of these posts. I've not got it connected yet because uh, I've got to go turn off the fence before I connect it. But all I've got to do is put a waterer in here and then um, put the pigs in here and they're ready to go. Uh, and I only have to keep them in here for a few days in order for them to get trained and then know that this is home and that I'm feeding them. Uh, so, um, Micah, I'm ready for you. All right, so Micah McGee, I promised you yesterday, this is one of those two-day videos. Micah McGee is here. He has a great channel as well. I've already told you. I'm going to put a link down below for his channel. And we've got these two Mangalitsa gilts. Uh, we're going to load them up over here. I've got the pen ready. They are not trained to electric yet, I don't think. No. But uh, I'm going to train them to electric, and that's what we're doing here. I'm showing you how to do that, and you'll see that they'll probably hit it. Uh, it's it's unpleasant, but it doesn't really hurt them. Uh, I've been shocked by it many, many times, so it doesn't hurt you permanently, okay? Uh, but it is a great way to keep them in, and I like doing it that way. Uh, we'll show you us getting them in here in just a second. All right, so I don't know how long it was, but I finally stopped getting in the fence. Really, that took longer than it has for any other pigs that I've ever had. They just kept on running into it. There are two of them. Uh, they have just been separated from their mother. Uh, Micah just weaned them. If you can go and check out his channel, you can see a little bit more about some of the videos that he's done that he just now, not too long ago, got them uh, separated from their mother uh, and just got them weaned. 
<laughs> but uh, here they are. They don't look very happy, but they will be happy. They'll get used to it very soon. I'm gonna make sure they have plenty of feed. I'm gonna try to make sure they have plenty of green stuff to eat. Uh, so uh, they'll be fed well and they'll be taken care of. Uh, but uh, here we are, we have them and they are very, very close to all the way trained to electric now. I'll just keep them in here for a couple more days and they'll probably only get shocked just a few more times. They got shocked over and over and over again and that was pretty crazy. But uh, here they are now, they're staying away from the sides. Uh, they're learning that that yellow line there is electric and it's hot and to stay away from it. I've heard that pigs can smell the electric. Have you ever experienced something like that or heard anything like that? Comment down below if you uh, uh, believe or uh, know that they can smell the electric. Electric. See, they got shocked one more time, but it's getting fewer and further times in between uh, the times that they're getting shocked. Uh, so they're learning to stay away from that. But uh, this is a learning experience. It doesn't hurt them. Uh, it's just unpleasant. I could touch it and show you, but it's unpleasant for me as well. I've touched it many, many, many times. Uh, it doesn't uh, do any um, uh, irreparable harm. Uh, it's just a little, uh, a little jolt. All right, so if you like things like this, if you like Micah McGee, and who doesn't like Micah McGee, then subscribe to his channel. I'll put information down in the comments below. Uh, we have these Mangalitsa pigs. They seem to have learned their lesson. They They've learned to stay away from the electric. I don't hear him shouting anymore, but we walked all over this uh, this farm. Uh, this is a great guy. He's got a great family. I hope that you'll check him out. And if you like things like this on my channel, then make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Select all so you never miss a notification. Thanks.